Let me start by what not to do. Don't find a great song you think everybody will like 48 hours before the open mic and then work on it and it sounds really good and think, well, I'm gonna play this one and I'm gonna get my big black music stand in front of me and my, my book in front of me and I'll just look down at it and I'll sing and everybody will really like it. You know, if you're gonna do an open mic and you have very limited experience, but you've been playing You Are My Sunshine for three years, play You Are My Sunshine and mean it. Feel it. The other night, dear, as I lay sleeping. Yes, it's one everybody knows, but it will be one that you have the confidence to do a great job with. You know, I cannot tell you how many times that I hear people say, oh, I learned a new song and I want to play it tonight. The other thing I think with audiences and performances in general, you know, is I'm a songwriter, but I'm not going to stand up in front of a crowd and play all songs that I wrote, all songs that had some deep emotional meaning for me. I'm going to start with, hey, good looking, what you got cooking? That people go, oh, I know that one. I'm, I'm with you. I'm with you now. I know that song. And then I'll slip in some originals. An open mic is a performance. Whether you're being paid or not being paid, an open mic, it's a performance. You're putting yourself out there as a musician. I am a musician now. I'm going to stand up here and perform for you. And it's not the time to work up a song. You don't work up a song in open mic. You work up a song well before. An open mic is as important a performance to me as Carnegie Hall. And so you play what you know. And um, I, think, I think that's the thing I see sometimes. I think, okay, yes, there may be a rank of amateur, but you don't have to sound like you believe you're an amateur. You know, get up and play and share. Something in your ego is making you want to say, look at me, look at me, listen to me, watch me play. Well, do it confidently. Don't watch me miss a chord and watch me forget the words. Watch me share my voice with you. All right, so what you have to think about is if you're gonna to start to sing with your instrument, is you have an instrument. A voice is an instrument. You don't leave your ukulele in a hot car and then bring it into a cold room. You don't take a voice you want to use for melodic beauty and abuse it. And, uh, you know, dehydrate, hydrate, hydrate, hydrate. Uh, drinking a lot of water. You don't have to do formal operatic breathing, but you do have to have enough air to blow it through this mechanism that is your throat. And also, Having an affair helps you relax and get all the way through a song so that you're not halfway through and then the tension and the adrenaline hits. And so you have to take care of this voice. Even, I didn't realize it until recently, but even acid reflux damages vocal cords. So if you're starting to sing, I want you to think about your voice and the mechanism of it, your mouth, your throat, your breathing, like an instrument. You put your instrument in a case. You know, I want you to think about taking care of your throat and you've got to practice. You don't, as we talked about open mic, from a dead stop, you don't get up and sing. You need to sing some earlier in the day and warm it up because it's a muscle. You wouldn't suddenly start lifting 500 pound weights without warming your muscles up a little bit. So it's a muscle, it's a mechanism, it's your instrument. All around the water tank, waiting for a train.